Good afternoon everyone, Aaron here from the Worthy Bugger Pro Shop. Uh, the fly that I'm going to be tying for you today is a stonefly variation. Uh, named this stonefly after my granddaughter, Ariana. Uh, this is a great searching pattern. Uh, it's kind of similar to one of the other flies that we fish quite a bit on this river. Uh, some of you that have fished with us probably know it, the yak stone. Um, going into stonefly, you know, stonefly season dry. Uh, this is a great option. You could tie it in obviously different sizes and different colors, so it's it's a great pattern to utilize. Okay, so we're going to start this fly with a 2x hopper hook. Uh, we're going to use a eight dot thread here. I'm going to start behind the eye, lay down a nice body on our hook, nice base. We're going to go just to slightly behind the, just between the point and the barb of the hook. I'm going to make a little, little dubbing ball here to represent the, the egg sac. I'm going to use gray, you could use black, but I'm going to use gray here. When this gray gets wet, it's pretty dark, so certainly certainly in the realm of the right one of the right colors to be using so when you tie this you don't want it to be super super bulky just just kind of a good good clump there <clears throat> wrap this a few times just to keep it from getting tore up by the fish next thing we're going to put in is white white goose biots there'll be one on each side I just kind of get these kind of where I want them and, and I kind of I got two in this one I'll Kind of get it right to the length that I want it. I'm looking for about a quarter of an inch approximately. We'll bind it in here good. Kind of tie these back so they they splay out a bit. That little ball of dubbing helps with that. I'll tie this down the shank of the hook just so I got a little bit of body to my fly. Kind of get everything covered up good here. <clears throat> next material is a piece of fine copper wire we're going to start it right behind the eye tie it all the way back next thing in is going to be a whiting Grizzly Hackle, this is for size 8 hook. I'll take a piece of opal, large opal tinsel. Bring it all the way back to where we tied, stop tied in everything else here. Stop there and then come forward with our thread. I want this to overlap as we're bringing it forward here. Bring 
bring our hackle feather forward first. counter wrap with the piece of wire here. Just gonna kind of keep that feather from getting ripped up, hold it in place. Next thing we're gonna take is a piece of two mil. Whatever color stone fire representing for whatever time of the year you're fishing this one in particular is a golden stone so get this tied in here good cut off the excess for now <clears throat> Take about a half a pencil of deer hair. Stack it. So we want this about three quarters of the way back on the on the body towards the tail, so. Take a couple of loose wraps here. And we'll start binding everything down real good here. Come in here and trim off all these butts. Okay, so next thing you want to do is just, just hit this with a little bit of head cement or super glue, just kind of, kind of keeps things from moving around. Fine brown rubber leg, one on each side. End up with a total of four legs on this fly. dubbing here. This is just basically to cover up the thread and kind of make it look neat. Okay, so the next material we got is just a piece of another piece of two mil orange foam. This is just our indicator foam, so you could you can make this whatever whatever color you prefer that you like to look at on the water. I always recommend a couple of different uh, couple of different foams uh, for different different lights, but uh, clip off the excess for now. Secure that in good. So we're gonna actually finish this fly underneath. So I'm just gonna pull everything back here. Kind of 
come through and get everything kind of straightened back out here, pull everything into place. So half inch on the front legs, three quarters of an inch on the back. Then we're gonna come in here, this first piece of the under foam, we're gonna cut it pretty short. Uh, so it's about a quarter inch this we're gonna cut back to. If you watch me tie before, I always kind of prefer to not leave 90 degree corners on any of my flies if I can help it. So what you want to do is make sure that our indicator foam is not sticking out past our under foam. So trim everything up nice. Clip off these edges. So I just go around and clip off all these 90 degree corners. That will complete the fly. This is Ariana's Golden Stone.